Hi there, welcome to The Healthier Home. Today, we're gonna to have a look at some EMF cell phone blocking cases. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to use these. And through some measurements, we'll look at why it's so important to use them properly. So here's what the cases look like. These are, both of these ones are from a company called Safe Sleeve. And this one is from a company called Defender Shield. Those are the two um, sort of most popular companies that make these cell phone cases. These are the two that I've tested. I've gotten really similar results with both. Uh, I've used both. This one I used in my old phone for years. Uh, this is the one I use on my new one. The Safe Sleeve and the Defender Shield, both really good options. Uh, they're not your only options. There's other ones out there as well, like Radio Armor and, uh, and a few others but uh, I can only really speak to what I've tested and that's Safe Sleeve and Defender Shield. So how these cases work is there's shielding in the front flap. That's the only place where there's shielding, the only place where it's doing any sort of blocking of EMFs in this front flap right here. The back is just simply to hold the phone in place. Um, the front part is where all of the shielding material is put. So we need to keep that in mind when we're using it because we need to always be directing that shielding material, that front flap here, so this shielded front flap, always needs to be facing us. So in other words, that shielded front part needs to be between ourselves and the phone. And then it's gonna be blocking some of the emissions. Because when you have the phone here and you have this blocking part in the front, if I am to close it up like this, now this blocking part is facing me and I'm talking on the phone this way, that's gonna be a reduction versus if I just have the phone out normally. Okay, so that's gonna be full exposure. It's emitting its signal in 360 degrees, but how far away I am from that signal makes a big difference in how strong it is. If I'm holding it right up to my head, it's really quite strong. You can measure in the hundreds of thousands, even millions of microwatts. This is really quite high. I would still not recommend holding it up to your head. I would still have this front shielded part facing you and use the phone on speaker when you're using it. Um, but this is a really good way to limit some of the radiation, the radio frequency uh, type of EMF coming from our cell phones. So it's also super important to be aware of what direction this shielded part is facing when you're carrying the phone. So ideally, you'd be carrying your phone on airplane mode. Uh, this is gonna be the safest way. But if you do need to keep your phone on, carrying it with um, a, an EMF blocking cell phone case is gonna be a better option. Um, I would still recommend carrying it in if it's on. Um, in a bag or something not quite attached to your body. I mean, every millimeter of distance you can keep it away makes a difference in how much you're um, absorbing into your body. But ensuring that you've got that shielded part facing towards your body if you're carrying it. So if you're carrying it the opposite way and the shielding is facing out, well then you might actually be increasing the exposure you're getting because now it's emitting all its um, frequency, but it's bouncing off the shielded part and coming back towards your body. So you want to make sure that the front shielded part is always facing towards your body if you're carrying it. So really important um, factor of these cell phone cases, you can't just sort of put your phone in and think, sweet, good, I've got an EMF blocking case, now I'm, now I'm good. No, it's, it's kind of a constant attention you have to pay to what direction this shielded front cover is facing. Um, I personally use one of these cases, I've used them for years, uh, but I'm always aware if my phone is on, what direction is this case facing? Even in my house, if I have the phone on, I'll keep it in a far away uh, corner. I'll stand it up like this so that the front shielded part is facing out towards the living area. And then I also have another shield I, I put in front of it as well. But um, that's something that's pretty good to do, keeping it far away from your main sort of living spaces and keeping it standing up so that this front shielded part is facing towards you is gonna be a great way to limit your just everyday um, exposure at home. And we're gonna do some readings and I'll show you exactly what kind of reduction this gives us um, and also what the readings are around all sides of the phone so you can see why it's so important to use them properly. Here are the EMF measurements without a case on. And for reference, the extreme concern range starts at 1,000 microwatts per square meter.
And here are the measurements with an EMF blocking case on. In this instance, one from Safe Sleeve. So keep these readings in mind when you're holding on to your phone, whether or not you've got an EMF blocking case on there or not. So these cases are an awesome way that you can limit the amount of EMF exposure you're being exposed to from your phones um, with that caveat that they must be used properly. Uh, you can increase your exposure if you're using them improperly. So being aware of what direction that front shielded part is facing at all times when your phone is on, especially when you're carrying it, uh, if your phone's on, or if you're talking on it, uh, or even if you just have it set up in your home, just being aware of where that shielded front is facing. Hopefully the shielded part is between people and the phone. That's what we're looking for. Now there's a whole lot more we can do with our phone, like wiring it up, um, and a whole lot more practice we can do in our home to lower our EMF exposure. So. Check out the healthierhome.ca. You can check out some more of my videos. I've got an online course. Lots of ways that we can uh, limit our exposure and really increase our resiliency and allow our bodies to thrive. So remember, the power lies with you, and we'll see you next time.